Okay, you've got your blinkers on, doll, and you're not turning, so maybe take them off. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be just like a Sunday vlog. I'm running a bunch of errands today and kind of just getting myself ready and prepped for next week. Um, or for the next week, I should say. And then tonight, I'm having a little date night with James. I think we're going to see the new Dune movie. So, yeah, I'll take you guys to that as well. I've already taken Boo for a walk. I've put away my uh, food order for the week. Our next on the list is going to the markets. I want to pick up some fresh fruit, uh, see what else I find there. But I'll probably just end up getting some fresh fruit. Walk around a little bit and then go to the car wash because it is the markets is on the way to the car wash so i may as well really need to get a new book i finished the last book that i was reading if only i had told her in a day and i wasn't expecting that usually i'll read a book in like a few days like i'll read one book a week pretty much yeah i wasn't expecting to finish that in a day i finished it on thursday and i've been so bored all weekend so i'm gonna get a book maybe two i want to finish the lancaster prep series but i've been reading the series in like random order so i want to read the first book you can read them as standalone books but all the characters are pretty much family so they all kind of come in in the books at different points so i'm gonna start reading it from the top and then work my way down so i want to get the first book today and maybe the second book if it's there i may as well also i need to get new lollies for this lolly jar because it's not christmas anymore and we still have candy canes in there i'm pretty sure i actually had those in all year last year and i mean no one actually ever said anything when they came to my house but it's bugging me and i also want to print out some new photos for these two picture frames i've already taken that one out of there but yeah today is going to be a good day it's not really the best weather outside it is cloudy today unfortunately but feeling so happy and so motivated recently regardless of what the weather's doing so that's why i'm filming a video for you guys today i never film on sundays so yeah anyways let's go to the market also if anyone's wondering my outfit is from csb this crop is from the fade collection and then these pants are the freedom pants and then i'm just wearing these Nikes, um, but I don't think you get these anymore. I bought these like in 2019 in America. So yeah, I think they're called retros. I need to take that out to the recycling bin. And also I'm actually gonna get a new rubbish bin today because I need a white one. This is bothering me. So we're gonna get a white one. I just finished up at the market. God, I need to brush my hair. Guys, I'm not leaving. I might just show you guys what I got when I get home, but I actually don't think I'm gonna get my car washed today. It's raining the next few days. I kind of feel like it's a little bit pointless, and plus, I can't really be bothered waiting. I'm gonna head to Ferry Road because I need to go to the chemist. There's like a, di what's it called? Like discount chemist or giant chemist, whatever you call it. And that's the closest one to me. So I'm gonna go there because I need to get some new vitamins. I also really want to get Thera, I think it's called TheraBreath. This um, mouthwash, it's meant to be better than regular, you know, like the serene or whatever. So yeah, I've always wanted to try that. I'm gonna go there, get that. And I also just need to pick up a couple other random things. I didn't really get that much from the markets. I kind of just want to try and see if I actually like the produce. Bloody hell. It actually is more expensive than the markets in the shopping center that I go to, you know. If it's not as good, then I don't really want to be paying more if it's not going to taste as nice. 
Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll turn into, you know. Okay, you've got your blinkers on, doll, and you're not turning, so maybe take them off. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll turn into a market girly, but I feel like I tend to go to the markets more when it's winter because even now, and it's like the third day of autumn or whatever, it's still so hot. Really, in summer, you can only really go at like 6 a.m., otherwise, it just gets too hot to be walking around during the day. I wish it was mango season because I would be getting so many mangoes at the market. I don't know why I'm so happy recently. I've just recently come off the pill, which I think I need to do like a story time about that and my experience with that. I didn't even realize that before. My head was just always so foggy. I didn't realize until probably like last week after two and a half weeks of being off the pill that my mind just feels so much clearer now. I don't know. When I'm having conversations, I've I, I can actually think. I don't know how to explain it. It feels good. I'll have to do a story time about my journey coming off the pill. Maybe I'll do that like after three to six months. But I do need to start taking some vitamins because I know you're meant to when you go off it. Just because all your hormones and stuff are all over the place, obviously. So maybe I'll get some today. Should I lower this? Back in the car now, I'll give you guys a haul of everything that I got. I'll show you guys what I got at the markets as well because I really didn't get much. I've got everything in this bag. I paid $80 for everything, which I feel like is really good because I actually got a few things. And I also got vitamins. And one of the vitamins that I got... Oh my god, I need to put my lips feel so dry. One of the brands of vitamins that I got is also like a expensive brand. Like it's behind the counter. Yeah, $80 for everything that I got is actually quite good. But anyways, I... Oh, I got hair on my lip. I got some cotton pads because I really needed these. I haven't had some for a while. This is the mouthwash that I was talking about. The brand is TheraBreath. Um, it says, dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse. Fights bad breath for 24 hours. No alcohol, artificial flavors or colors. And it's non-burning. So I can't wait to try it. This is the mild mint one. There was a stronger one. But there wasn't a bigger bottle in the stronger one. But there was in this one. So I was like, maybe this is a more popular one. And also it was like $3 more expensive. So this one probably is a more popular one. And then I showed you guys this. I saw, I haven't seen this at the shops. Um, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Overnight Deep Cleanse. It helps detoxify hair while you sleep. Wake up to clean looking fresh hair. Why do I always have to do that? I have to like read the whole all the writing on the front. I actually told myself I wasn't going to use Batiste Dry Shampoo anymore because it's apparently not meant to be good for you, but I mean, is anything good for you? I don't know. I don't use dry shampoo every day either. So yeah, got that. And then I also just got these little water wipes to keep in the car. And then I'll show you guys the two vitamins I picked up. First one is this Bioceuticals. It's the Multi Essentials Comprehensive Daily Vitamin and Mineral Supplement. I basically just wanted like a multivitamin because I hate taking vitamins. Okay, if I just take this and the other vitamins that I got, which is the Nature's Own Fenugreek tablets, I feel like that's perfect. So this comes with 90 tablets. This one comes with 60. And then from the markets, so I'm just going to show you guys like this. This it's easier. Look at how big these are. I love like hard grapes. So yeah, I hate the soft ones. I don't know. I just love the crunch of these. I saw those and I had to get them. And also the people working there were Filipino. And I was like to the girls like, oh, are you Filipino? And she's like, yeah. They just get so happy when you ask them that. Um, and I was like, I am too. And I was like, salamat, which means thank you. Also just got red papaya, a little baby bag of potatoes. And I got some bananas and some apples and that's it. I didn't really get much. Let's make our way to the soup fair now. My second home. It's actually so funny how many of you guys I meet at Pack Fair. Because I'm always there. So, yeah, that's probably it. I'm going to get some frames. I love this one. Be on that section. This is what I want. My 
perfect. She's huge. Okay, now I need to decide whether I want to do chocolates in the jar or lollies. Oh, these are cute oh. little marshmallows. Lollipops. Minties. Maybe I need to have a look at Pinterest. I found my book, Things I Wanted to Say by Monica Murphy. In the boot, I also have the bin that I got and I got some poppy pads for boo. And then I got these, which are James's favorite lollies and mine actually, I love these. Just cover. Jaxi and that. There's this one. I got a landscape version of this printed out as well. And then our photos from Europe. These are my two favorite photos of us. So I had to print those out as well. All right, let's put this first pick in. Fits perfectly. I just try to like scrub off the sticky part from the price tag. Um, and I got most of it off. Let's see what it looks like. So cute. There's still some residue there, but that's fine. I'll try and keep getting it off. Right, I've got the two photos in. I think these look so cute. I ended up putting that photo in there. I used to have a quote on there that said, I'm sorry for what I said when, I'm, when I was hungry, but to be honest, I'm not even a hangry person. I just thought it was funny. And I don't even like the font that the text was in. Yeah, I don't even get hangry. Like that's not a thing to me. I'm actually gonna try one of these right now. Mm. Okay, wow. Well. That is exactly how I like my grapes. Wow. You guys hear that crunch? Mm. I really want to know you all. I really want to show you all. Fuck that. Fuck what plenty of champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl didn't. I just finished scrubbing and mopping the floor on my balcony because this little girl, where is she? This little girl, she's trying to act all innocent, but sometimes she misses her mat when she poops. If it's like a little bit runny, I know this is gross, but it'll just kind of like go on the floor. So yeah, I just have to scrub the floor and mop it. And also this mop sucks. I only got it a few months ago and it's broken already. This little turny thing won't turn to let all the uh, clean water in the middle. So I literally just had to like douse the floor in the water, which is fine. But I'll just have to get a new mop for next time because I obviously can't be doing that with the floor inside because that's way too much water. But out here, it was completely fine. But yeah, that's basically my cleaning done for the day. I do like to clean for probably like 30 to 45 minutes every day um, just for upkeep reasons. And that's why my place is always neat and tidy. And people are always like, wow, your place is so clean. And that's because I clean every single day and then I'll do a deep clean on every Friday. Um, and that's when I change my bed sheets and stuff and mop, vacuum. I'm gonna have some lunch now. I'm actually gonna have my Chef Good meals, which I had a break from eating Chef Good for probably like a month and a half. Just to be honest, I just really got over it. But yeah, I'm gonna start having it again for the next few weeks. I'm gonna have the lemon and herb chicken with honey roasted carrots for lunch today. This looks so yum. This is actually new. I'm gonna have that and my vitamins. I haven't even eaten today and it's midday. Okay, this actually looks so good for a microwave meal. 
Let's give it a go. Mmm. Bro. That is so good. Can you see, baby? That's it. I brought up the new bin that I got. That's the old one. This sort of looks like under here right now. And I just don't love it. I hate how the sides get dirty. And also I've had it for quite a while. So I feel like I do just need a new bin anyway. And I just think this will match so much better. It's actually not the exact one that I wanted, but that's fine. So let's open her up and see what it actually looks like. Because I didn't have any out and this was the last one. So I just thought I'd get it. Honestly, that looks so much better to me. I wish the bottom was white, but that's fine. And this, I'll have to take, I'm definitely not gonna do it today, but I'll take it to the tip tomorrow because it's not gonna fit down my rubber shoe, obviously. Packing my bag, I'm smuggling McDonald's in because I'm craving chicken nuggets. So we're smuggling that in. I'm gonna put it in my hoodie because then I can put it on top of the McDonald's and then it'll kind of hide it. I'm also gonna put these in because these are James's favorite lollies and mine. I love these too. And then all I really need is my keys, hand sanitizer and lip balm. This is the little outfit that I'm wearing. This top is Joel Brown. They have the comfiest basics ever. This is so soft and it's so stretchy. I've done like a couple of TikTok hauls featuring their stuff before and I just love them for basics. Shorts are from White Fox, so is the hoodie, the matching hoodie. I love the pink writing. And then I'm just wearing my Yeezys, which you can get these off Goat StockX Essence. No, I don't think you can get them on Essence. Anyway, you can get them on a bunch of shoe website resale stores that sell Jordans and stuff as well. There's my outfit of the night. Also, did I mention we're seeing the new June movie? I don't actually think I've seen the first, but I found on YouTube a, um, a guy doing a recap and I went for like 27 minutes. So I'm just going to listen to that on my way because apparently if you haven't watched the first one, you'll be really confused for the first like 30 minutes of the this movie. So I'm just going to play that um, on the way. And yeah. Also, I changed up the configuration of my, uh, well, this is meant to be, I guess, my TV stand. But there's no TV there right now. I decided to put the flowers in the middle just to cover my TV bracket. I don't even know why I put that up in the first place. Because then I'm just going to have to get this whole wall patched up. And there's not even a TV on there. But yeah, I've just got my flowers on in the middle. And then the picture frame on the left with a candle. And my two little books. I've been chilling with Boo on the couch because I don't need to leave for another five minutes. I just ordered the ottoman for my couch. It wasn't available when I bought the couch and it's been out of stock since. So I just got it now. This is it here. And I'm pretty much just going to get rid of this coffee table because honestly, I'm not really a fan of it and it's so old. So I'd rather just have an ottoman and then move it into the center where my coffee table is when I'm not using it. And then I can get my TV as well and we can have somewhere to put our feet up. This couch is uncomfortable. Like when I'm trying to be comfy or read a book or whatever, I kind of put my foot up on the table, which I know isn't good, but yeah. So all of this will go on top of the ottoman with like a blanket. And I think it'll look really nice and cozy. Also it was on sale as well. So that's fab. And it costing me like under $500 to get it delivered and then for them to also bring it up and get rid of the rubbish. So that's amazing. It's good too, because the covers on this couch are removable and if they're really that damaged you can actually just order new covers yeah that's why i really love this couch it's not the comfiest thing in the world but i mean it does a trick i do however need to get a tv so i need to do that this month one eternity later what can i get for you hi can i just get a large 10 piece chicken nugget meal with water yeah anything else uh can i get two sweet and sour sauces for the sauce Sour. Yeah, anything else? Uh, that's all, thank you. You're all good to drive through. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah, for 10 minutes. Hi. Thank you. You're all good to drive through. Thank you. Not me dropping my camera. Hi, thank you. Thank you, you too. What's up? What?
Alrighty guys, I'm back from the movie now. I'm honestly so tired, but it was an amazing movie. Usually I struggle to sit in movies that are like over two hours long. I went for just under three hours. I think it was like two hours and 15 minutes, but it was an amazing movie. We both loved it. If you haven't watched the first one, just listen to one of the recaps on YouTube. I think that really helped with understanding what was happening. Otherwise, I feel like you kind of be a little bit confused. I also love Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya, so I mean, you can't really go wrong. Austin Butler was in it though, and honestly, he kind of trees me a bit. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but every time I see him in a movie, I just get triggered. But overall, it was an amazing movie. We had such a good night. I'm just gonna head to bed now, and I'm gonna keep reading my book. I read a little bit of it today. I can just tell I'm gonna love it, so I'm gonna read a little bit more before I go to bed. That concludes my Sunday vlog. I don't know if it's really gonna be that long because I feel like I didn't really do that much today, but but I hope you guys enjoy it regardless. I was really in the mood to film another vlog today and I'm glad that I did because it feels good to accomplish things on a Sunday. But yeah, say goodnight, boy. Hi, baby. Say goodnight to your friends.